rejected by men, a man of sorrows and, a, and acquainted with grief, and as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Isaiah 53, verses 3. In a society that avoids pain at all costs, Jesus' actions are hard to grasp. We're surrounded by medications to relieve pain. Many turn to drugs, abortion, and euthanasia in an effort to eliminate discomfort and inconveniences from life. But rather than run away from the pain, Jesus ran headlong into it. In the Garden of Gethsemane, we glimpse the mental anguish that Jesus experienced before his betrayal. He told his disciples, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. And Luke describes Jesus' distress as so intense that his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. Knowing full well the suffering that awaited him, Jesus pleaded with the Father to consider an alternative plan. The physical suffering he would have to endure alone would be enough to cause any of us to turn away. And we now know enough about the Romans' cruelty during crucifixions to be shaken by their brutality. But Jesus also suffered the emotional agony of being forsaken by his Father and the spiritual anguish of bearing all the ugly, inhumane, horrific sins of the world on his shoulders. It was enough to make anyone want to flee in the opposite direction. But Jesus knew there was no plan B to satisfy God's righteous wrath. Only he could secure the salvation of his beloved creation, so he willingly accepted the hard road before him, even though he didn't deserve any of it. The betrayal, the mock trial, the beating, the scorn, the humility, and the torturous death on a cross, none of it was for him. Amazingly, Jesus had the power to stop it all with just one word, but his love for us compelled him to step forward. He willingly walked into his suffering, humbly allowing himself to be ridiculed by the very ones he came to save. Every agonizing moment he hung on that cross was another whispered yes to this painful course. He who commands the universe and enjoys the worship of angels stepped down from heaven to be despised and rejected by humans, and he did it all for love. What can I say in the face of such love? The punishment that brought me peace fell upon you, and you willingly leaned into the suffering meant for me. Every sorrow and suffering I face, you faced first and bore the wrath of God for me. Thank you, precious Jesus. Thank you. Amen. For many, the Christmas season brings with it disappointment, loss, heartache, regret, and pain. We may lament and grieve what we don't have, even though we're surrounded by holiday displays and jolly season's greetings. This year, instead of ignoring this pain, allow it to surface and bring it to the feet of Jesus, who was himself a man of sorrows and understands the burdens that weigh you down. There would be no joy if Jesus' story also not included intense suffering and rejection. Today, meditate on Jesus' agony during his last moments on earth. Reflect on the fact that he knew fully what awaited him at the cross, but still submitted to the Father's will. Then, spend the rest of your day worshiping him, who was a man of sorrows and is now exalted at the Father's right hand.